Okay, so the question of the hour, how did I learn to drive stick shift? Three easy steps spread over it's like a decade. Um, so when I was 15, 16 years old, I first learned to drive stick shift in the parking lot at Schwalen Community College with my mom. And I even drove home from dinner one night, burned a whole lot of rubber. The first car was a 1992 Toyota Corolla. Uh, we called it the little red car because it was red. It had no air conditioning, no manual windows. You had to roll it down. Um, yeah. Um, so, yeah. And um, we spent a few hours, not that much. Then the next car I learned to drive on was this one. A little bit older. So I was born in 1992, so the first car was my age. This one, this is a beautiful 1968 Ford pickup truck. It's my mom's first car, baby blue. Um, so this is the car. This is the stick shift. Yeah, really, really big stick shift. Um, and these are the pedals. So I learned to drive this one with my dad actually and it was the summer of 2018 I think it was before my birthday so I would have been 25 years old and so I was coming back around I was just like good because dad was fixing up the car refurbishing it stuff like that and I was like yeah it'd be a good thing just to I had gotten the same summer I rented because I had turned 25 years old I could rent a car and so I had rented a car for the first time and I was like what if I have to rent a car and it's like a stick shift or something like that or what if I am in a situation where I need to drive stick shift so I'll revisit it so 1968 Ford pickup truck there is no power windows so to open the windows you have to roll it like this to open the window um it also has this wheel so there is no power brakes and no power uh, steering. So it's a really big arm workout to drive this car. There used to be no horn, but that got fixed. Um, so yeah, not, it's, it's 1968 <laughs> pre, I mean, this is, this is like, these are the gauges and this is the radio. Like this is not, this is not retro. This is the original thing. Um, <laughs> And so this is, I spent, we were out for maybe like an hour or two. I, I drove this car, um, truck. And then, so that's step two. Step three, I got, the time where I really got comfortable driving stick shift was on a Ford Fiesta uh, in Scotland in 2019, July 2019. So I, my birthday is in August 1992. Well, I was like original birthday, um, but celebrate in um, August each year and so um, I was 26 years old and um, I spent over I drove over 2,000 miles and drove for over 50 hours night driving rain driving day driving driving up and down hills driving on roads where you can't see the oncoming traffic stuff like that um, hills so that mountains bog land stuff like that gravel roads that um, the rental car company Enterprise was like, whoa, that's a good one for our car. Cause I was like posting on social media and stuff and Enterprise was actually like looking at and like commenting on and liking the stuff I was posting, which was pretty fun. Um, and it was a Ford Fiesta. And so that was where I learned to drive stick shift. And it's been weird readjusting because in Scotland, you drive on the left side of the road, not the right side of the road. And the clutch, so like the clutch is in the center of the car. That stays the same in, Great Britain, United Kingdom. And so uh, the, so I was shifting, it would be the opposite. So right here, I'd shift with my right hand. In Scotland, it switched. And the clutch is with your left hand in Scotland because it stays in the same place in the car. And the steering's on the side. So you'd be driving down the road. I'm in the right side of the car. The pedals stayed the same. So the pedal line up. It's actually the same, even though, so, so that that's kind of the one fixed thing, but within the car, it's changed. Um, and uh, the clutch stays the same, so it ends up being on the opposite side of the driver's body, but the pedals were the same, and then driving on the opposite side of the road. But that was, that's my three-step 
process to driving stick shift. I really liked the car in Scotland, the Ford Fiesta. I don't remember what year it was. It was more recent though. I was like, it might have been like 2014 or something like that. I, it, it was on there. I think it was approximately 2014. Um, that was a really, I really liked that car. I did get a flat tire. So not only did I learn to drive stick shift, I got my first flat tire in a foreign country. It was a huge learning trip because I was traveling all alone, solo. Um, yeah, so do I recommend learning to drive stick shift? Yes, I would say in my experience, the Scotland trip was oddly enough perfect because the drivers there were much friendlier than they are in the United States of America. So I'm in hindsight choosing to learn to drive in a foreign country where there's a bunch of tourists like Scotland. Um, I guess it's partially social conditioning. People were not like, I'd be flashing my lights because I'd be killing the clutch over and over. Um, and like people weren't honking. They were very patient. And I was like, that would not happen in the United States of America. So I do recommend learning to drive stick shift. However, if you could do something like I did, I actually highly recommend the path I took where like I'd learned the basic survival kind of stick shift driving as a teenager when I first got my license. So 15, 16 years old. And then um, brushing up on it later just to have that skill set in learning on a rental car um, in, a, in a foreign country or just like... And maybe not in the in a city area like a urban area in the United States of America um just like I, I I recommend the path I took and then is there anything else uh yes what so if you're changing gears what's that called it's called shifting gears um so if you change from like first to second gear you're shifting gears so that's that's the how I learned to drive stick shift in three steps